What's going on everyone and welcome back to Knife Life BDC. Got something new to kind of share with you guys today. Um, something obviously came in from CJRB from Artisan, Cut Artisan Cutlery. Excuse me. Um, pretty excited to check this out. I'm kind of wanting to check it out since it came out. I don't think it's been out too awful long. Maybe a few weeks or something like that. But um, that's kind of cool. Just a little bit of information on them I guess. Uh, it's not a card. It's actually... It's actually stuck in there, so that's kind of cool. Not stuck in there, but that's like a part of it. It's got all their information down there and a little bit of just about CJRB, so that's kind of cool. Um, now, I wanted to check out the Pyrite originally, but I thought this was more up my alley. Uh, it's the CJRB Echo. I kind of thought the, the blade, I guess that was the blade. The blade kind of got me. I like the blade a lot better on this one. It just looked cleaner, looked better. Nothing against the Warncliffe on the Pyrite, but... um. I, I don't know, like it was, I don't know, it just looked kind of goofy to me. I'm still probably going to get one eventually just to check out, and um, I, I'll go from there. I'll check it out eventually. But I wanted the Echo. I also spent a little bit more on the Titanium version. I think it was like maybe 20 bucks, so I figured I'm going to splurge a little bit. But um, this is the CJRB Echo, obviously, and it is pretty smooth to open up so far. Um, i kind of been just buying front flippers lately. I bought the past couple knives I bought were these two right here. That's the Migaron Pagos, and that's the Kunwu S Tau. Um, and that, that's my favorite knife so far right now. Like, I, I carry that every day, just about. Um, action's great on it. I love the action. I love the action on the CJRB uh, Pyrite. Love the action on that thing, and this is just about pretty much the same. I love the way it flips open. Um, thumb hole works pretty well. Front flipper works well as I say that. I do that twice. Um, opens pretty well. I like it. Um, it does have a little noise to it. I don't know how to describe it. It sounds sticky. I don't know if you guys can hear it there. Get it by the microphone. That's the button right there, if you can hear that. At least it sounds like the button. It's got a little bit of the oil in there, KLP or something like that. It doesn't look dirty. It looks pretty clean. It sounds like a, you know, like when you get something sticky on the bottom of your shoe and you walk across your manoleum flooring or hardwood floor or whatever, and it has that sticky sound. It's exactly what it sounds like. I don't know why, but it also feels a little... A little sticky out the gate. I don't know. I don't know if that's what they call what is it like lock stick. I'm gonna have to look that up. So I really I never had a problem with with this. So I'll have to look that up to see what that necessarily is. Maybe that's what this is. I don't know. It's not like it has a, too much. I don't know. I don't know what that is necessarily like lock stick. So I'll have to check that out and see what it is. But I don't. So I'm having some problems opening it from the thumb hole it could be my finger though let's try it with this my index finger well maybe maybe I am having a little bit of problems opening it I don't know so I don't really have a whole lot of problems with my index finger for some reason I have problems with my middle finger it does feel sticky, like, right? It's, there's some... I don't know. It feels like it gets caught on something. So, I don't know. Maybe the button lock needs a little bit of KLP. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'll take it apart and kind of check it out. Um, Yeah, it's really weird. I've never had this issue with any of my button locks that I've had. So, maybe I'll put some KLP, take it apart, clean it a little bit or whatever I need to. Um, Great looking knife, though. I love the way it feels in my hand. Um, the texturing for the or jimping for the front flipper feels pretty good. I don't have any problems. Um, I would say I do like the the texturing on this one a little better. Um, I feel like it's a little more aggressive than this, which I like a little more aggressive for the front flippers. Um, not bad though. I really do like this. It opens up great on the front flip. I'm a big fan of these front flippers. All of a sudden, I don't know why. <clears throat> um, excuse me, CJRB, I, I do love their knives, they do make good knives, 
And I'm like, want to get more. I know they had the new Kickstarter thing going, and I want to, hopefully when all that happens and everything like that, I want to get some, obviously some more knives. Um, so let's get into more detail of it. It is a Ray Laconiso, I can't remember his name. Let's check it out. I know it's written on here. I saw it earlier. Ray Laconiso, Laconico, a Ray Laconico knife. And then it is AR RPM9. That's the steel for the blade. I've um, got that. It's a pretty little stonewashed blade. Uh, obviously, it's a worn cliff. And I just like uh, what I liked about this was that it's not so much elongated as the pyrite, the new pyrite. I think that's why I liked it. Kind of has a nice little belly to it too. Um, the elongated uh, hole, thumb hole. It's not so bad. I like it. See, now I'm not having too like having problems flipping it open. So I don't. Maybe it just needs worked in. I don't know. Maybe it'll just work its way out. Um, I did like the the clip the pocket clip it is reversible which is nice and it's tip up obviously i actually really like the way it looked in the pictures and it doesn't look too, it doesn't really look too bad but um i do like the yeah i like the pocket clip how it kind of goes up I, I like them better when they're like that i do like wire clips a little better on most knives lately i don't know why i'm kind of just i found that i like them better than they was work better for me but this is not a bad pocket clip. It does have the recessed screws. The pocket clip is not recessed, obviously, but the screws are. Um, nice titanium handle and everything. I did buy something extra for it, though, because I wanted to, I guess, splurge a little bit because I thought it looked better. I did get the titanium pocket clip, and it also came with a bunch of extra screws, so I thought that was pretty cool. So I probably will end up taking that all, um, taking that off here shortly. Um, I might just take the whole thing apart just to kind of clean it up a little bit figure out what's going on with this button real quick or maybe just a little bit of KLP I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll decide later but I'll probably end up changing this out at some point um, really like it opens pretty well for the most part like especially the front flipping action um, like your normal CJRB like pyrite just it goes pretty well I think I like the echo better though I think I like this better than overall than the pyrite it just feels better in my hand um, I just like the blade. It just looks ten times better, I think, than the pyrite and the not that not that there's anything wrong with the pyrite, but the the worn cliff I like a little better for the echo. Um, I don't. Know. I'm kind of excited to see what it looks like with this. So I'll have to figure that out. And no, I guess there's nothing to figure out. You take the screws out, put them back in. But um, I'll probably do another follow up video probably very shortly to figure out see if let you guys know what's going on with this thing, the button sticking or something. Oh, and it does have a lanyard like um, pivot, I guess, in there, if you can see it. So that's kind of cool for all you lanyard people out there. You know, you have your lanyard you can put on there. And I don't know. Hopefully, it's a great knife. I like the way it looks. It kind of goes well with the, the Kun Wu, I think, in my opinion. I think it's going to be a pretty cool set of knives to carry. But um, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, just give it a thumbs up. If you guys like the knife, or if you actually, if you've heard anything about this or have had any issues with that, or know what that might be, let me down, uh, let me know down in the comment uh, section, please. That'd be awesome to know. If not, I'm probably just going to do some research later and look that up. But I'll get the pocket clip changed out, and then I'll do a follow-up video. All right, have a great evening.